I love comedy. I love stand-up comedy. I love romantic comedy films. Anything that will make anything that will make me laugh, that will lift my spirits, that will remove me from whatever's going on in the moment, I seek after these things. I absolutely love some of the really great stand-up comedians. How can what they do, their practice, the way they craft and deliver their message, what can you learn from that in your brand? I wanna share that with you today, so I'm so thrilled that you are here. It's that time again. Grab your legend pack, crank that speaker to 11. Welcome to legend. For those of you who I've not yet met in person, my name is Amber Griffiths and I'm a brand strategist, but more than that, I'm a maker of legends, like for reals. It's about moving you through unique into unforgettable, into legend. And I'm going to share with you something that I've been studying a little bit because I love to study legends of all kinds, music, comedy, authors, historical, all of them because I want to understand their patterns, their, the way they express themselves in a way that moves the masses. This is not about making millions, it's about moving the masses and creating this unforgettable experience for their specific audience. One of my favorite all-time comedians is George Carlin. And I know Sweet Boy passed uh, several years ago. I had a chance to see him a couple of times in person here in Salt Lake City. And I adore him. I adore him for his mind. I know that on a very surface level, Mr. Carlin was known for, is it the seven words you can't say on television? And then he expanded it to 11 and there's a whole pattern. There's like a cadence to saying them because it's so funny. And I will absolutely not repeat them here because I don't think they're allowed on Facebook, let alone television. But that's the surface, this one thing that people on the surface know him for. People like Jerry Seinfeld from his show to his stand-up to his writing to his getting coffee with comedians in cars they're all a part of how he establishes himself not just as a comic but as a true legend comedians will work a single joke for hours this is not i mean if you think about some of these people who have been telling jokes and writing jokes and entertaining millions of people for decades this is not something that they happened upon. This was not accidental. I'm assuming somewhere in their personal lives, they have one-off jokes all the time. They have things that just come across that are very funny. But when it comes to making an impact, when it comes to connecting specifically to their audience, they will work a joke for hours and hours, papers and storylines and twisting one word, and then they'll go and perform it three different times at some small theater. Then they'll come back and they'll tweak another word and they will go and test it again because they want to get it just right. There is no one and done with these people. It's part of what makes them legend is because they're always adjusting their craft. They're always finding new and exciting ways to connect with their people and bring them in and make it absolutely a memorable experience. You don't remember a joke because, just because it was funny. You remember how the buildup and the feeling of it now, here's the other thing that I want you to consider. Not only is it not, I, I just did this, I got it done, check, off. I, I understand that totally. I am a checklist girl. I will put stuff on my thing, on my list that I have already done. I will wait an hour and then I'll go back and check it off because, yay, I got something done. But if I just want to get something done, then that's how you do it. But if you actually want to make an impact, if you want to make a difference, if you want to stand out and become absolutely unforgettable with your specific audience, it's not a one and done process. What a crock, what a load. It's not about checking out boxes. It's about making connections. It's about differentiating yourself and becoming unforgettable. George Carlin, love him, like him, hate him, whatever. He never stopped tweaking his stories. He never stopped tweaking his jokes. And part of what makes him legend is because he was not a man of one-liners. He told stories. He brought you in on so many different levels of emotion and ex let you experience him on several with several different senses. He never asked you to laugh without first building the experience. George Carlin never stood up and said, here's my one-liner, laugh with me. That's not what made him legend. 
What legend was, was because he would tell a story, he would create an experience to the point where he didn't have to ask you to laugh with him. You would laugh with him because you couldn't not. You were that thoroughly engaged, that thoroughly excited and, and, and a part of what he was creating. That's the difference between a basic stand-up comedian who's doing their own thing and good on them. Everybody has their own way. But if you're looking to become legend, you can't just ask people to engage with you. You can't ask them to just laugh, to cry, to buy, to follow, to message, to share without first delivering an experience, without laying it all out there and inviting them into it to the point where you don't have to ask. They do it because they can't not. They share you because they can't not share you with everybody that matters something to them. That's the difference between fine, checking off boxes and great. And then one more step even further to unforgettable and legend. So look at your task list today, your to-do list. I get it, we all have them. To-do lists will run the world, but they will ruin an opportunity for a really amazing experience. Have your to-do list, but don't confuse that with making connections. Don't confuse that with making impact. Don't confuse that with really seeing who your audience is and sharing with them who you really are. Some of the dearest, sweetest stories I've ever heard are from Patton Oswalt, another one of my absolute favorite comedians. I think if anyone were to be able to step into the shoes of George Carlin, it would be Patton Oswalt. And his part of why, again, there's no one-liners. He tells a story and he walks you into it. And it's not just a here, listen to my story. You sit out there and I'll sit out here and I will tell you my story and I hope you care. He brings you in, he welcomes you in, he lets you feel yourself in his space. How are you doing that with your people? How are you inviting your people in on that level? How are you becoming legend because of the experience you are providing? that connection that cannot be forgotten. I'm speaking at a summit tomorrow and I hope you'll join me. I will make sure that there's a link in the, in below, but if not, just take a moment. What are you waiting for? This is the time, like right now is the time to be that delivering that experience right now when the world is still just craving real authentic connection. They want to know who you are. They want to feel you. They want to experience you. How are you delivering that in a way that your people can't not fall in love with you, can absolutely not forget you? It's what legends do. Until I get to see you again in person, please stay safe and as always, rock on.